there are times where I want to be a hairbrush. I think that combing, sleek, sweet, takes out the snarls and gives a smile. Removes the knots and fluffs and up. Do not tell me I can't be a hairbrush. Example one. Boy. It had been a while, and I hadn't seen him smile in the ways I felt he deserved to. He was hostile. And he kept compiling the ways he felt that life was against him. Boy, you're a furnace that's much too hot for gold to melt and you'd burn at me. Set me ablaze. I would run, slip, crip, graze the surface area of my body to get to you in a hurry, and maybe that won't make you sink further into me in the world around you. Maybe you'll fall further into yourself. But I will keep brushing your hair, scaring the knots away that cover your head into depression. I'd eat spinach for you to grow stronger. But you will brush me off more often than knots find their ways into headphones in your pocket, deep drowning in song. People want to be moved, but you don't more often than not. You taught me there was a reason why they called it movement in song. Where well, you lay on my lap as I threaded my fingers through your hair, listening to bark. It will all be okay. Okay? Okay, example two. Girl. In sick form back rooms, college offices, brick walls around you and within you, where the school counsellors also want to be hairbrushes. Leaking their treatments like tea bags in boiling water. Spread. See, it was in maths class. You sat next to me, and I couldn't even put two and two together. I didn't even know you were pregnant, and now you weren't. Run. You weren't next to me anymore, but a blur. Rubbing my lenses two minutes later, head popped red stained second floor doors dripping down your leg. Can I speak to you, you said. And I didn't even know you were pregnant because we were barely friends. Were well, you were digging dens with baby's father, growing cubs in your tummy, but the miscarriage? It was redder than I expected it to be and displaced the scummy water in the toilet bowl and I could think of nothing to do but cry and brush your hair with my fingers. See, we were barely friends. But there we were, bathroom floor, marinating your insides, listening to the streets. We didn't have anybody else. We moved each other instead and that was three years ago and there it goes again, my ears drowning in song. Dry your eyes, mate. And that song moved us from the bathroom floor to somewhere I can't even explain in words. Those chord progressions made more progress than those school counsellors. But maybe less than my fingers do your hair. Brush. Brush. And knots will reappear. That's the way life works and it works hard. Let's try and live for each other. The songs, the fingers, the tangle in your tummy flutter maybe. Boy. Girl. You might remember I tried to move you and to make things better. And you move me. And we can start brushing more heads of hair together. Okay? Okay.